Rapa Young Thug ameingia kwenye headline tena hivi karibuni baada ya kuachiwa uhuru na mahakama ambayo ilimhukumu kifungo cha miaka 40 jela. Uh, Young Thug ameingia kwenye headline baada ya kuwa kukamatwa kuhusishwa na kuendesha magenge ya kielifu pamoja na uzaji wa ya kulevya na robbery. Sasa Young Thug kuachiwa kwake ni baada ya kukiri mahakamani makosa yake na akakubali kwamba ndio alizingua labda kuna mambo ambayo amefanya sio mazuri lakini uh, yuko tayari kujirekebisha sasa mahakama hiyo imemruhusu ya uh, Young Thug kuendelea na shughuli zake akiwa chini ya ulinzi uh, Young Thug ameachiwa kwa condition ambazo ndio nakukusomea hapo baadaye ikisema condition na maanisha kwa masharti kadhaa ambayo ni moja hapo ni kuto Kanyaga Metro Atlanta kule ambapo sasa makundi yake yalikuwa yanaendeshwa vibaya mno yani yeye mwenyewe akiwa kama kiongozi na kiendesha mule akiwa kama kiongozi huko uh, Metro Atlanta na sasa mahakama imemkataza sikanyage Metro Atlanta kingine ameruhusiwa kusafiri ikiwa ni kikazi labda ku perform na kwenda kuandaa music kama tunavyojua uh, wasanii wengi wakubwa wakienda kuandaa album wataka wasafiri wakapata exposure sehemu akili tulia andike mistari mitulia ndio makame mruhusu hivyo but sio kusafiri kwa ajili ya bata na kingine bwana amekatazwa kuonana na member yoyote yule ambaye alikuwa anohusika na ile kundi lake akiwemo mdogo wake ambaye anaitwa Guna na ye, yani mdogo wake pia alikuwa katika kundi hilo ambalo yeye alikuwa analiendesha la kialifu so wamekatazwa pia wasionane naye kingine amekatazwa ame, ame asijihusishe na uhalifu wa aina yoyote pale akijihusisha basi atachomoa betri yani kwamba atazingua na atarudishwa tena ndani so tumekuwa video hapa ya Enthag akiwa anashukuru mahakamani baada ya kumuio kutoka na pia nje ya mahakama baba yake Enthag alikuwa akizungumza ninaitwa Lawrence Rafael na hii ni mwanachi digital thing that you want to say i want to say thank you for having me thank you for having me um yes ma'am um i take full responsibility for my crimes or my charges uh i want to say sorry to my family my mom my mom got 11 kids i can't say all their names you know my managers my kids is not here uh really everybody that got something to do with this situation i want to say sorry for just like you know being having so much time investing into this you know and, uh, i am a, a, a smart guy i'm a good guy and i really got a good heart you know I, I find myself in a lot of stuff because because I was just nice or cool, you know, and I understand that you can't be that way when you reach a certain height because it could end bad and then and it don't really have to have them to do with you, but it could end bad and it could, you know, fall on you. And I know <clears throat> the choice is yours is up to you and I hope that you allow me to go home today and and just trust in me to just do the right thing and never see you again unless it's unless it's at a you know bar in the future or something just out of this type of situation I promise you I won't ever be in this type of situation again I'm I'm going away I've learned from my mistakes you know I come from nothing and I've made something and I didn't take full advantage of it I'm sorry Uh, through these last two and a half years of my life, you are really, truly, honestly, the best thing that has happened to me because you made made everything fair for me and everybody involved on both sides. You know, um, I'm sorry to the share. You know, everybody for just having to put extra time in. I know y'all got paid more money, but. I'm sorry for y'all having to put this extra time in to be away from y'all family, you know, and I just hope that you find me in your heart to allow me to go home and be with my family and just do do better as a person. I know what I bring to the table. I know what I am. I know 
the heights I've reached. I know the impact I got on people, period, in the community, you know, all people. I learned that late, like past these past two or three years of my life, I kind of learned that late. And maybe it was because I was, you know, probably on drugs or anything, I don't know. But I have came to my senses and I understand what I mean to this world. But I am a good guy, you know, I, I, I don't mind doing stuff like, you know, like uh, free shows. And I always did that, you know, I, I did free shows and gave it to single parents, millions of dollars. You know, I made $1.8 million on, on a free show and I gave it all to single parent charity. And I did like two or three shows that made like 700000 a piece and I gave it to uh, the breast cancer organization. Like, you know, I, I, I do things. Like I put millions of dollars back into my community for real. I really did. I did more than anybody ever did from my side, you know? But I understand, you know, rap lyrics. I understand how it could be twisted. I understand what it could do to the mind of people. I understand all that and I'm, I promise you, I'm 100% changing that, you know, it's just, I'm older, I'm grown now, you know, and it's just like, I'm smarter, I, it's more things to rap about, like, I, I've experienced a lot of good things, I experienced more bad things, but I experienced a lot of good things too, and anyway, I can, I can go forever. Well, I appreciate it, and um, I appreciate that you do realize how much of an impact you have on people, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's past your neighborhood it's worldwide especially young people and having come up from where you came up from and living in and around that you know that gangs are damaging to our community and it may be you know, you live here in Metro Atlanta? yes i do I'm totally against that because this is where he's from, you know. And to have a to have a district attorney take that away from him that doesn't that isn't a residence from here. She's from another state, you know. And to see her how see her take a man away from where he's from. To have to go live somewhere else, that's a that's offensive to me. I'm really offended by it.